Hello and welcome to Vulturek Plays, the eco-friendly edition of Kerbal Space Program. So, uh, yeah, no idea what I'm doing here, basically. I'm going to make a plane here, and it's going to be economically friendly. Um, I know I did, well, yeah. So, let's, uh, start with that. Why not? Why not that capsule, eh? So, I'm going to show you a little bug I discovered from a, I think it was a Scott Manley video? Yeah, Scott Manley, that sounds about right. He also does a lot of Kerbal Space Program stuff. You should probably check him out at some point. He's a lot better at it than I am. <laughs> um, it's a little bug where you don't need an engine. It's uh, quite entertaining. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna whip up a little spacecraft here. Can't be too bad. I hope. Right then. So basically, the bug works in a way of if you put a lot, and I I do mean a lot of these flap things. The uh, ailerons, whatever you want to call them. I'm not sure what they're actually called. Uh, if you put a lot of them on your craft, you can provide propulsion by flapping them up and down. I'm not entirely sure how this works, and I'm fairly sure this bug will get patched sooner or later. But for now, let's make an eco-friendly plane and see where we can go with it. Do 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 do. Oh God. Why you not go where I need you to be? I'll do. Let's stick a couple more of these on and see if we can get this off the floor. In a sec. A little thing I worked out with the SAS and Advanced SAS. They cause a lot of flapping around. It's quite entertaining to watch, and if this thing doesn't fall apart before I even get into the air, it'll be a miracle. Da -da. I need some symmetry up in here. Go. And go. Right then. Let's quickly save that. Let us launch the first edition of the eco-friendly Kerbal Space Program rockets. Sorry, Jeb. You're probably going to die. Nothing I can do about it though. Right, let's see if I can get this working. We are accelerating. Slowly. So, uh, how about the airline food, eh? <laughs> wow. Um, I apologize for that. That was a bad joke. I should feel bad. There we go, look. Some decent speed coming along. Wow, this is actually quite quick. And I'm up in the air. Not for very long, but... Oh god, lag. I apologize for that, viewers. Oh. I should probably mention that I forgot to install a method of actually steering this. I feel quite stupid now. Oh god! Oh god! Oh, look at it go! Right. Let's see if we can rescue our brave Jebediah Kerman. Well then why not? Let's try and land on top of this building. It should be funny. Nope. Well, that went, that went terribly. Right, I'm going to redesign this. Um, yeah, so let's go back to the space plane hangar. Let's try again. In your own time game, you know, whatever. I think I think the inherent issue here is that we don't have any glide power. So let's give it some glide power. A lot of glide power. A whole lot of glide power. Um yeah, that'll do. Right then. Another thing. The ability to steer 
will be quite useful. I forgot to name it last time, so there. It's named now. Right then! To the air! Um, again, a little bit of whole slow takeoff crap. This we still got Jeb. Come on! Accelerate! Accelerate faster! Why do you not accelerate faster? And you can show up on all dogs. Silly dogs. They're laughing at me. Hope you understand that. I, I, I'm working in terrible conditions here. Even my dogs are laughing at me. Because of how bad I am at this game. Right, get some speed. And we're in the air. It's progress. Go, SAS! Flap them wings! And the SAS did not flap them wings. Well, let's see if we can get some decent speed going. Oh, oh god. And we're drifting. That's bad. Oh god! The hell am I doing? Right. This time, come on, we can land on one of these buildings. Well, we could if I wasn't so goddamn terrible with this game. Accurate plane controls need not apply to this bug. It's horrible. Oh god! Huh. Oh dear. Ah, that's no good. No! Not you, Jeb! No! Ah, well. This is not going as well as anticipated. We've lost the bravest Kerbal pilot ever to exist. And we haven't even got to the second runway. This sickens me. Right. Alright then. It's time to get silly. Turn snap to angles off. Let's add more flappy power. And of course, oh, that's that's a neat little thing. Didn't know I could do that. Well, okay. I apologise for this, it is taking a little while, and uh, wow my recording software does not like me for doing all these parts. Come on, you can stop lagging any time now. There we go, right then. Eco-friendly, Mac 3, and the last one that will be displayed in this video. So, right then, let's, uh... Well, it accelerates faster. Slap them wings! Yeah, buddy! Ooh, actually, yeah, that... We may, we may be onto something here, folks. Flap them wings, flap them wings, get that speed! Oh dear, this doesn't seem too stable.
It's wobbling. Ah, <laughs> that was a drastic failure. Well, come on, Jeb, let's roll you back. Back to the platform. Oh, that's not Jeb. Jeb died, didn't he? Come on, Bill. Rolling, 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 rolling. No, I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I, I won't sing anymore. That was bad, and I should feel bad. Well. As a small bonus, let's fire a probe with a... That's not the thing I should click on. That's silly. Go away. Let's chuck a probe into space. Because. Just... It, it, it's a good way to end a video. Probe. Um... Booster. And why not? Let's let's make sure this thing is leaving. Yep, probe be leaving, yo. This is the bonus. Don't even know why I saved that. Bugs. Bugs everywhere. Right. Say goodbye to Jeff the Probe. Zoom right out so the sounds don't deafen you, good viewers. Let's see how far Jeff the Probe goes. Not very far if these engines keep overheating. But look at that speed! Man, he does not want to be on the surface of Kerbin. And a lot of the other engines have fallen powerless now. Powerless to aid the grand acceleration of Jeffrey the Probe. And if you look to those small chain of islands over there, you'll be able to see... Well, you can't see it from here, obviously, but... There is, in fact, a delicious, delicious second runway there. That's a pain to land on because it's raised up off the floor. Shocked me quite a few times when I flew straight into the edge of it. Well, okay, ladies and gentlemen, I leave you with this wonderful view of Kerbin's primary moon, Mun. Thank you, and good night.